Hey, welcome back everyone. Toy Shiz here, and today we've got a brand new DC Multiverse video. We're going to be checking out two, but it's really just one, because we have a Platinum variant as well. But this is the new John Henry Irons, and he was a steel driving man. Now, the steel, the main version, standard version, yeah, that's pretty much steel, right? We're going to take a deep dive look at him. We'll see exactly how it matches up. This is being billed as hailing from Reign of the Superman. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get to that. You see the imagery on the back, and here's the barcode. When these start to hit store shelves, which should honestly be any day now. Now, there is a platinum version, which is an all gray slash silver version of steel. Like I said, it's going to have that Platinum, short packed, rare fine, Funko sort of deal for those of you that don't know. Now, I'm thinking this is kind of hailing towards the Superman the Animated Series look for steel. It's definitely not the Shaquille O'Neal steel, so we can all breathe a sigh of relief there. Here's the barcode for steel as well. It's the same barcode, so it's going to be a toss up when you find them. Now, in talking about Reign of the Superman, I grew up reading comics very heavily in this era of the 1990s, right? Reign of the Superman was the event, and it was such a killer event, and DC Comics was just dealing them out, one after another, Nightfall, everything with Parallax and Green Lantern. It was awesome. So Reign of the Superman really does mean a lot to me because it was such a poignant staple within my comic book knowledge that, yes, has stuck around to this day. So... This is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, straight from the quote-unquote reign of the Superman, John Henry Irons, Steel, by McFarlane Toys. All right, so here are both figures taken out of the box. And like I said, it's the exact same figure. One of them has a distinctly red cape, and he comes with... A very cool looking designed hammer. That's more or less the design of Steel's hammer throughout the years, right? Sometimes it's bigger, wider, smaller, fatter. You get the idea. But it's also very warped straight out of the box. So you're going to have to heat that up. Also, it's very flimsy. I wish it was more of a solid plastic, to be honest with you. Now, one caveat to this cool looking hammer is that both Steel's, no matter which one you get, only have one hammer holding hand. Well, the other one is a outstretched hand yeah you can finagle it but why not have two hammer holding hands right or extra hands so this version of steel the standard version with the red cape if you look at this side to side front to back you'll go yeah that's steel right that's that's the steel that i know yeah here's the thing two ways to look at this right you look at it from far away everyone goes home happy cool we got a steel figure for those of you out there that are sticklers, who were there for Reign of the Superman, you know something's off, right? <laughs> he has a really awesome, just red cape. And I love the way that that looks within the armor plating and everything else. And speaking of which, yeah, that's where it kind of goes south in the costume. When you really start to nitpick it, the costume has been McFarlaneized, right? Now, there are certain elements that work that have kind of kept to it. They've lost the cables that go down the leg, unfortunately. He's got the big old blaster on one end, and yes, there's a bunch of blue paint dabs here and there, if you haven't noticed that yet. And uh, methinks they're trying to go this route, which, uh, I mean, yeah, but no. It's kind of the thing we always say. I get what they're going for, but does it really come across as such? No, not really. The big old shoulder pads, that's basically new. The S is kind of wrong. Again, he's missing the hoses that go down to the boots. The boots are different. It's basically an amalgamation of different looks of steel, all of which are not Reign of the Superman <laughs> in so many ways. I mean, some jet thrusters would have been cool, right? I really like the head portraits. I like the articulation in the neck. You can get him in a flying position. The ab crunch is not going to do anything going forward, but going back, that will lead to some flying poses, and he has a waist as well. Now, 
The arms, biceps swivel, shoulder pads won't bother you, and he does have double jointed elbows. And again, I like that one side has the blazer blaster gauntlets and the other one has the standard gauntlets. So that's correct, right? More or less. One open hand, one hammer holding hand. That still bugs me. Extra hands, that's where that comes in handy. Now the legs and the crotch pocket, that presents sort of a problem with the articulation. And I was wondering, I was like, why, why is it not moving? Is it the joint? No, the diaper piece is solid. Mostly, we get a very rubberized crotch pocket, right? This, this is steel. <laughs> More or less, he's got a steel diaper going on. So you're not going to be able to move the legs, if at all, which that'll present a problem with people that are not just going to sit them on the shelves, right? Double jointed knees, feet up and down. And one problem with the stance is that he sits flat, but then the toes have an extra padding, which offset his balance. It's <laughs> one thing after another, right? Like, you're almost there, and then, yeah, you know, let's make something weird, of course. If you look at it from afar, there you go. That's steel. Now, to look at the platinum version, I do think that this hammer, because it's more of just a grayish kind of color, would fit better with the red caped steel, if that makes any sense, because it doesn't have any of that blue wash tinge to it. It's a separate piece that looks different from his costume. Now, I'm not gonna say that I absolutely love this look. If it had a red cape, that would have been so much better. And no, the legs don't work on this version either. So let's do this. Comment down below. Wouldn't it have been better to have a red cape on this? That way, whether or not you found the standard version or the platinum version, you would have had a steal. Now, I can't say if anybody is gonna be after this platinum version because it just really doesn't match anything unless it's something new from the comics. Could be Superman the Animated Series, but he didn't have a cape in Superman the Animated Series. So it's all kind of make your own interpretation, choose your own adventure. But realistically, yes, if it would have had a red cape, it would have sold because truth be told, yeah, I do like this color scheme as well. Now, here's what I want Steel for. The reign of the Superman, right? But a lot of this that you see here has been a lot of DIY, right? I gotta get my own glasses from a Mattel wrestler figure for my Superboy. And again, Superboy, he's kind of a mixed match of Reign of the Superman and modernist Superboy takes. Eradicator, same deal, right? Had to get a different head portrait from Superman 1000. Had to get goggles from an anime figure by McFarlane. It's all a bunch of, I have to do this myself when it's so simple, just put it in the box, right? Just to show you what the platinum version looks like with the other reign of the Superman, yeah, that looks pretty good as well if you wanted to go that route. And we are missing Cyborg Superman. And fingers crossed, we get that standard version. Oh boy. Yeah. Anyways, here is Superman. And no, I haven't gotten the longer hair collector one yet. If I do, I would definitely just put the longer hair version on this regeneration suit Superman. But yes, that harkens back to a lot of memories, more or less it meets my needs for now. Now, to put a regular suited Superman in with the rest of these Supermen, that doesn't look too shabby at all. See, yes, you can have that stickler eye, you can nitpick this to death, or you could just relax and have some fun. Again, like I said, choose your own adventure, but no, this steel is not of the Superman in that sense. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Reign of the Superman Steel and his platinum version. And I want to say thank you again to McFarlane Toys for sending this out for the purposes of this video. Both steels will meet your steely need until I would say inevitably they release another steel with maybe some correct colors. They always seem to do that. So maybe wait, if anything. But it is a good steal with the red cape. That's the one I'm going to recommend. But hey, the platinum version is not too shabby either. It's just I prefer the red cape. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything rain to the Superman. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, place your bets. How long until we get a proper 90s cyborg Superman? And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.